it's another example of getting out into the community. The DA's office opens an actual storefront at a shopping center in National City. The idea is to get services to places where people live rather than making them come to county offices. The county recently opened a large live well center a few blocks away. Law enforcement needs to address the underlying issues that lead to criminal behavior. That includes poverty, lack of educational opportunities, substance abuse problems, and of course, mental health treatment. This new care center is bringing a variety of resources directly to the residents who can benefit from them the most in need of making them right here in their community so that they don't have to travel outside of this community to get what they need. This is a warm, friendly environment for people to come in and get the community services that they need uh, and uh, certainly deserve. I'll be looking forward to using this care facility just to maybe have a group here sometimes because we have a lot of open space, run a group here, get kids to build a resume, job opportunities, get connected with the businesses around, and just give kids a chance to grow up in a safe community and be connected with the law enforcement and know that they got our backs. The center is not just any center. It's a center that cares, a center that's going to fit us, our needs, and understands the diversity gaps and concerns within our community. The Care Center also has committed itself to providing resources and tools needed to build and strengthen the life skills of our community members who normally would not have the chance. With everything going on in the world today, and we all know, this is an example of what can happen when law enforcement and community get together, work together. It can't be any more powerful than that. Services for veterans, community youth court, and inmate reentry services, among others, will be provided at the storefront. In the County News Center, I'm Michael Russo.